Capcom announced this next game last December, offering just a glimpse Wait. of what's in store for their Wait. celebrated franchise. Wait, legit? Today, I am so legit? excited to share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wild. What? Wait! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? As soon as we find a good spot, we can get Hi. set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. <laughs> this is gonna be great. You bet. I hope we find them soon. I'm gonna literally cry right now. <laughs> what? What is this? Lore in my Monster Hunter game? Hold on. <laughs> Whoa. Incredible. I'm gonna vomit. This looks incredible. Hello? What are those things? Whoa. Holy now shit. We'll make for the desert. What is that thing? Oh, okay, so they brought back, like, the, sl the slinger, it looks like. Whoa. Oh, shit! What is that weapon? Is that the greatsword? Oh my god, it totally is the greatsword. Holy shit! Oh my god, it's got a fucking tongue! Ugh. Okay, so yes, they definitely brought back the greatsword. Oh my god, look at it! I'm gonna cry! You you got your bird? Holy shit! What are those things? Oh my god! Oh, you got your bow gun, nice! Whoa. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, yo! What was that? Oh. You as a lead hunter Holy shit! That was a weapon swap? Yeah! Whoa. Okay, SOS flares. Nice. Online play. Whoa! I'm gonna fucking scream. I. Oh, I, you, I can't! Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll get those. <laughs> I need it in my veins now. We're gonna go back and watch that again. <sighs> they fucking did it. Like, okay, so first off, you're on a fucking boat like you are in for you. Holy. So. Right away, look at these characters. Your Palico's back, which I'm really happy to see. I like the starting armor as well, which I'm assuming that this is like the new starting armor. Hey, also, these gals... Okay, one thing that I get immediately is all of this... Yeah, the character models. This is world model or graphics. Like, those eyes and these, how these models look, they look like... Uh, Monster Hunter World. Like, a lot of this is Monster Hunter World-esque. Which is very interesting, I, I find. These gals are getting shipped. Oh, no. <laughs> world 2 Electric Boogaloo? People finally got their World 2. <laughs> as soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And I want to hear this. Started. This is going to be great. You bet. Wait, is that the Paracle talking? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> World Ultra HD, we'll see. Okay, I do want to listen to the lore here though, so I'm going to be a little bit silent. She has a side shave, I'm so gay. <laughs> the cat talks, is it talking? Oh god. It sounds like it, I am immediately putting my language to Monster Hunter language. <laughs> I hope we find them soon. Who's them? Wait, 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 what was that logo in the background? I'm sorry. That... 
Okay. So it looks like they're meeting with the guild or something. They have, uh, no, those are the same logo. Okay. The plush? Wait, was there? She has a Kaku plush? Wait, was there? Get started. Wait, no, I need to see that. Wait, really? Where? Oh, <gasps> she does! Kaku! Tragic backstory, the commission. It looks like the commission. Probably the logo for the game. It's... It looks like the guild logo. So he's... So they're looking for something. What are these, like, giant stakes in the ground, by the way? It looks like a colossal, like, weapon to me. You know? In before not in the game, they just fucking tease us with that again, yeah. Lightning rods? Yeah, but they... Dragonators? Ooh. Are they lightning rods? I mean, we did see the lightning strike it before. Okay, so yeah, we definitely have this desert area. I want to know what the fuck that guy is there, though. God damn. Incredible. Oh, this fucking shot, though. I need this as, like, a background for my PC or something. Oasis, it looks so good. Oh my god. I, yeah, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be asking Capcom, like, if I could have a review key for this or something, because I will review the shit out of it. <laughs> like, I want, like, early access or any of this, if I can, like, of course. Glasses Girl is totally handler of this game. I hope so, she's really cute. This reminds me so much of Xenoblade for some reason. Xenoblade X actually has a very similar area to this. Like the big, uh, this big, um, ring has a very similar thing in, uh, Xenoblade X. It's really cool. But, alright. I've never heard of a Karatnoth herd this big before. What One did she say? Big spikes on its back. Yeah, that's totally the Palico talking. Oh my fucking god. Our Palico's talking to us. Our Palico is going to be talking to us the entire game. No. Did they not learn from Naviru? <laughs> That's a bit cringe. Right away, I am going to have my game set to Monster Under Language. Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Was that the same area? Just... Wait, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Why are the... It's like showing... Cause like, look at this. It's like showing the two areas. Yes, yeah, seasons. Wait, hold on. Weather changes, but that's not just a weather change. That's like a whole different like scenery. Cause like... Look, it, it, it's got, like, all this grass and everything. Yeah, wild spirits are on Veil, basically. And then it's just, like, dead. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Weather changes. It could do with the sandstorms, yeah. Some monster probably came through and ruined it. I, I bet what the story is gonna be, we're gonna go to the village. It's gonna be, like, very 3U-like. And they're gonna be like, yo, some monster or some thing is like creating some base the some huge sandstorms you gotta go smack it, and then we go smack something but it's not actually the thing causing it watch this just like shara is back shara shvalda <laughs> black veil showed up oh man yeah because these are the same areas that's so cool now what the fuck are these things oh my god it looks fucking terrifying so they're hiding from him. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> this, with the scale of the world, I want to see a Dalmadur. We could. Like, if we have a huge fight, like, in the desert, like, because we're, we're on that boat in the beginning. That's a puppy. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> we're in the reveal back in December. I don't fucking remember them. They kind of look like Chow Chow Lion. <laughs> Arzuros mutant, kinda. They got a dumpy though. We'll make for the wait, wait, hold on. His clutch claw just, or whatever it was, his slinger just grabbed 
the pelts on the ground or the rocks and just yoinked it and grabbed it. He shoots the rocks down. Yeah, but look at like how he grabs it. Now to lead it away from the pack. Oh, Remember that's the so desert. fucking cool. We have evolved. <laughs> Damn. And then they go under like that. Ooh. Yeah, this fight is so fucking cool here, though. God damn. So we're, like, being chased by the pack. So this is actually what the game is gonna look like when fighting. Oh, that's so fucking cool. He sends monsters at us. This thing's fucking disgusting. Volvedon part two, but actually a thick tongue this time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you really get flung. What is this like enclosed area? Oh, and your bird immediately picks you up? Wait, hold on. I didn't notice that before. Because he whistled. And then the bird comes in and immediately scoops you up before you even stand up. Yeah, pet recovery. So these things are like tearing him apart right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you got your bird. The bow gun looks fun. You can actually, yeah, you can shoot from your bow gun. You can attack from your... Oh. Oh, that's so fucking clean. Come on. Yeah, no, you, you have a, uh, you have a uh, weapon swap. And you can shoot on- you can shoot on the pets, that's so cool! Oh, this is clean! As a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. So, I- I think what it is, I think, like, I- I think what, uh, the- the- the story here is gonna be, um... It's gonna be the the son is looking for his father because he just said there that like his father is being sent off on an expedition or something. So I'm assuming that this is a new world, like an entirely new world that like the commission from World is sending us on. So it's like what the sixth fleet or something, maybe even like the eighth or whatever, whatever they're gonna call it. And uh, probably something went wrong. They haven't heard back from the hunters, so now we're going out. <laughs> You got your SOS. Your it looks like it's still gonna be like a four. Wait, it's kind of interesting though that um they only showed three players coming in. I'm or like sorry, uh only there's only three players. I'm really, really desperately hoping they're gonna still allow four players because I don't see like I don't know why they didn't have four players here the three alleys to help the guy no but like even like because it shows like three but then it shows three going away fourth is there already is it just them coming in then I'm hoping oh yeah okay there's four players never mind sorry sorry I saw only three yeah I, I saw three but no they were just coming to the guy okay I'm glad also this is fucking cool what the what is happening here also also, also, what is that guy's armor? Guard doing something? Finally. Is my HD? Okay, yeah, it's up. What is this guy... Like, what is this guy's armor in the background? It almost looks like Ludroth to me. Kinda. It does look like Hammer. Uh, sounds 25... Piece, uh, 2025, my PC is gonna get much more love. Yup! Oh my god, so you got a bowgun there. Looks like Jagras to me. That yeah, that could be Jagras. I I just I I like I like Ludrath. <laughs> uh what was that other guy in the background? Oh yeah, he's definitely using hammer. He's using like the overhead bonk or whatever. Oh that is such a clean. Oh God, I need this game! Uh, we got names and renders for both these mods now, by the way. Oh, okay, sweet. So we get feline leather and feline duffel for having world and iceborne. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, players can receive palico equipment for use in Monster Hunter Wilds by having some by having save data for Monster Hunter World uh, or Monster Hunter World Iceborne on their PlayStation Five. 
hope that counts for PC as well. <laughs> All right, let me go to the site super quick then. Uh, let me just get rid of this. And I'll open it on a new tab. Uh, monster. Oops. Not that tab. Monster. Hunter. Portal. Wait, where is it? Ooh. Ooh, wait, the site looks clean. Oops, that's the wrong tab. Hold on. The site looks super clean, though. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yes. Boop. Look at this shit. Oh. Okay, so it is going to be on PS5, Xbox Series, and Steam, but it's not going to be on uh, Switch. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm calm now. Look how nice this looks, though. All right, let's look through the site together. Uh, introduction, a wild and unrelenting new frontier. Uh, I'm sure they had this before, but uh, bottom. I still want to read it anyway. Also, Alex, thank you so much for that follow, by the way. Appreciate it. Um, they even got gameplay explanations. Yes. Uh, dynamic, ever-changing environments, a story of monsters and humans in a world with two faces. One in which the lands are harsh and unforgiving, where monsters fight for scant resources, and another in which the lands are vibrant and brimming with life. So, yeah, we are playing in a world where the environment is changing. That's so fucking cool! Hello? So, yeah, we're getting seasons! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so fucking hyped for this! No, I'm scuffed! <laughs> oh man, you play as a professional monster hunter, uh, protecting the balance of the ecosystem in hunting monsters. Use the resources you gain from hunts to craft even more, ever more painful, jeez, powerful weapons and armors in your quest to unravel the mysteries of the new lands. Experience the most evolved uh, action and improved immersion in any monster hunter to date. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool! Holy shit, not painful, powerful, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think Anubis Dragon can be in the game? I think so, that'd be sick, hello? Oh my god, goodness gracious. Yep, we got the save data. Oh, that's cool, so you can select whichever one. Uh, please note, in order to claim the save save data bonuses you'll need save data from monster hunter world or monster hunter world iceborne on your system that meet the gameplay conditions below <laughs> uh wait so how do you check about um oh uh hunting Whoa. oh god why is there lag oh god hunting action is bigger than ever new moves a huge variety of weapons and equipment and more ways to use monsters and environment to your advantage okay Ah, I need to set up my Nexus. I still don't have one. Uh, the iconic 14 uh, weapon types from the Monster Hunter series will each make the return. Uh, okay, so it doesn't say anything about a new one. But, be pretty cool if they kind of squeeze in a new one. New action features and new moves for each weapon type will help you make the most of any situation during your hunt. Okay. Oh, you watched the trailer? Yep, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> uh, focus mode focus mode allows you to aim your attacks and guard abilities you can also use focus mode to pinpoint monster weaknesses which can be targeted with special new attacks that will deal big damage by making it easier to space yourself and aim your attacks during hunts focus mode will even make it easier for players of all stripes to get in on the hunting action oh that's so cool hmm so focus mode so okay so you use it as a guard slash counter i guess and then wow that's interesting focus tendy i guess so wow you gotta check the deets for the mount okay the slinger returns as an indispensable hunter tool use it to fire rocks seeds and other natural ammo or even to trigger objects in the environment hook slinger the Hook Slinger is the newest evolution of the Slinger, allowing you to gather all types of materials from a distance. Aw, oh, I'm gonna be so fucking lazy. <laughs> Man, I need one of those. <laughs> uh, it can be used while mounted on a secret? Sacred? Is that what it's called? 
Yeah, good morning, Ajiko. You have a wonderful sleep. Thank you so much. That's a proper slinger. That's what we needed. Wow. Okay. All right, so that's the end of that. Let me go back up. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This site is lagging me out right now. Uh, hold on. Go back. Uh, characters. All right. New allies and a rich cast of characters will support your journey as a hunter. Characters. Our story takes place in the Forbidden Lands, an unexplored region where the guild has sent the hunter and their allies to investigate. Get a glimpse of, of some of the characters you'll meet as you step into this mysterious new land. Okay. Hi, Falco! Yeah, it's called Forbidden Lands. Okay. Shadow the Colossus reference? Oh, you're right! That is! Oh, shit! The protagonist and the player... Oh! And the player you play as, or the character you play as. A hunter assigned uh, to the Forbidden Lands Research Commission. Their job is to help investigate this, uh, this unexplored region. Okay, so this character is me. Okay. Oh, nice. They show like bottom. both the male and female. Uh, Kaden, thank you so much for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Look at that armor. I'm so excited for the armor in this game. God, it looks so good. Palico. No. <laughs> a feline, a cat-like creature, fully capable of speaking with, peop with people, who is the hunter's trusted Palico partner. They will provide invaluable hunting and moral support. Let the drip flow. It looks so fucking good. Oh my god. Uh, Elma. Oh, the hunter's handler. Yep, she's our handler. Nice. She looks so fucking cute. Oh, I love her design. Hello? Oh, man. Damn. The hunter's handler who... Uh, one who met... <laughs> so I was trying to read, and then I saw as the chat uh, caught up, I saw immediately a few messages. <laughs> uh, one who manages Monster Hunter requests. Or Monster Hunt requests, sorry. Permissions and quests. She'll accompany you out on quests and provide value, support, and knowledge. So she actually comes with us, like the handler did before, but hey, I heard you like her more. Two weapons. Hi, Riku. We're going through the, uh, through the uh, entire uh, site right now. God, Gemma. Oh, so Alma and Gemma. <laughs> yeah, I see what they did there. <laughs> a smithy with the research commission. She'll take care of all of your weapons, weapon and armor crafting needs. She's our fucking smithy? Hello? Whew, I'm gonna need some water right now. Oh, God damn. <laughs> she's a smithy the fuck are they doing with these games recently where it's just like they keep making the smithies my type like stop it <laughs> i need water now god damn <laughs> god she's hot <laughs> and uh nada mysterious young boy that accompanies you on your journey oh there's gonna be more to him <laughs> Wait, what happens when you, like, actually click on the- oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this Cutco plush that she has, though. It's so cute. God. Damn. Oops, I didn't mean to go back here. Let me go back to characters. Was there anything else on this page? I just want to double check and make sure. I'm, I'm assuming that's all, like, the main characters. Yeah, okay, so that was the bottom. Okay. God, I want, I want to look at her too. Oh, God, I love her coat. I want to like actually cosplay her like that. That looks comfy. <laughs> Man. Oh my God, I really like her vibe. I like her comfy vibe in a way. She's got a teapot that's, oh, please. <laughs> All right, monsters. Oh God, oh God, okay. Oh, the tongue, it's going in slow motion. <laughs> she brings the tea. Already way better, better handler. I know I'm going to like her. Okay. Uh, each monster is unique and fully realized, featuring fascinating adaptations they de they've developed in order, in order to survive the harsh realities of their environments. Okay. 
Shaping up to be everything I wanted. Same. Uh, Dasha Guma. Ooh. Chatacabra. Are you kidding me? Is this like a Tetsukabra, but they gave him a big fucking tongue? You know what? I'm down for it. All right, show me more. Uh, rugged territorial fang beast that, in that exhibits an, ag an aggressive disposition and inhabit a large range. Sometimes observed in large packs. Main habitat, windward plains. Oh, that's what it's called? Hold on, I need to be opening up new tabs now. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that's just... Wait, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so this is what it's called. Wait, I'm not... Hey! Oh, God, I'm not there yet. Hold on. Da <laughs> okay, was there anything else on this page? No, okay, wait, let me go back to... I didn't go to a living world. I forgot that. All right. That means amphibians are back? Finally. Okay, let me go back to... Okay, so we saw that guy. Uh, Chatsakabra. It's an amphibian like Tetsu. I love that. Damn. Uh, a large species of amphibians that use adhesive quality, uh, quality of their saliva to affix stone to their forelimbs in order to power up their attacks. Yo, so he literally just grabs stones around him and just sticks it to his arms? <laughs> okay. All right. I'll take it. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, I'm excited. Holy shit. Wow. So, wait, if there's, like, monsters... Like, imagine there's, like, a basil, like, where he drops all those, like, exploding rocks. Could he just take those and put those on his arms and punch you with them? Because if so... What the fuck? So don't sling rocks at him? Apparently. He could just take them. Probably, yeah. Oh my god. I'm such a fan of the game already. Holy shit. Okay. A world with an ever-changing climate. Life here has learned to adapt to harsh environments, the wildlife developing its own ecosystem, and the humans developing their own culture within it. Okay, let me scroll down because that's a bit too heavy for my screen. Uh, each hunting locale features an environment with two dynamically changing identities, one in which the region is harsh and unforgiving where ravenous monsters fight for limited resources and another in which the region is vibrant and brimming with life changes in the environment also means changes for the monsters and wildlife that live there so you'll be running into new surprises around every corner that's so fucking cool oh my god that's so sick i love this the fact that it's a changing environment oh my god Oh, I, I love this so much. I'm so excited. Holy shit. Oh my god. Monster herds. Okay. Uh, in the Forbidden Lands, you'll encounter not only herds of small monsters, some of the large monsters of the regions may also form packs. Large monsters form packs now? Excuse me? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Each group has its own place in the ecosystem with its own unique movements and behaviors. Oh my god, Anjapak? Oh. <laughs> so not season, but close enough. Yeah, it's similar to a season, but there's a reason why it's changing so drastically from day to, like, from that. Oh my god. Is the bears moving like three or four numbers? I know, but I wasn't sure, like, what exactly I was looking at. Vitalis pack. <laughs> New mount. Oh, look at him! An essential companion for traversing vast wilds. Wait, can we fly with it? Oh, it looks like we can fly with it! Hello! Okay, okay, okay. Um, the sacred... I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Sacred is an animal mount whose exceptional agility will provide the hunter with crucial support on a hunt, out on hunts. Its well-developed sense of smell allows it to guide you automatically to your current objective or any location you set on the map. Good. You can also use your slinger and certain kinds of items while mounted, allowing you to comfortably restore your health. Sharpen your weapons or even gather materials while on the move. Oh, no scout flies. I know I was so nervous that we were going to get scout flies back, but good. Can we customize it? Oh, we have to. I'm sure of it. You can also stash an extra weapon in its weapon sling? Wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. 
Allowing you to switch between weapons of your choice while out on hunts? Yo! So that's why you can swap mid-fight in the trailer? I can bring a charge blade and a charge blade. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! What the fuck? Do you get equipment loadout load for each? I'm assuming not. But we'll have to- oh my god. Two guns. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, ecosystems. Okay. As a member of the research commission charged with- Wow, all of these look so cool. All this is Windward Plains, and it already looks so expansive and huge. Two hammers. <laughs> he has a weapon on his back and one on a- on in the side saddlebag oh i'm so you know what i always love about these games is just looking at the little things within it that is what's the coolest thing with it it's just like especially with rise like looking at the little things in the world and like how different things interact with each other i'm so excited like once the demo comes out for this game like you guys know i am going to be playing it like in like right away for stuff, but also for hours, just looking at all the little things. Cause I love that. I love doing that in games. Okay. Uh, as a member of the research commission charged with investigating the Forbidden Lands, the Windward Plains is the first new hunting locale you'll visit. The plains are a diverse, leg uh, diverse region filled with sandy plains, swaying grassland, twisting rock formations. I can't speak anymore, sorry. And other natural wonders. Damn. Do not rush it. I'm not going to rush it. I am going to take my sweet time with it. Holy shit. I'm just going to sit back in a second and just take it in. Wow. Like, I... Wow. What a fucking day. Did you see my weapon mention? Oh, if you could put it again, that'd be great. Thank you for going on the website because I did not think about it and there's so much info in there that the trailer didn't even give. No, I know. I, I, I was suggested to go to the site. I think it was uh, Johnny or someone else. Sorry if I uh, forgot your name of whoever requested it, but holy fuck. Was it subs? Sorry, subs. But damn, I just want Capcom to take as long as they need uh, to develop this game. Same. I would never ever rush Capcom to. Oh my god. Imagine catching a Tigrex mid bite charge with your weapon. Oh. Oh god. I want. Uh, I'm sell. I'm dying. I want this. I want this game. Where's Fish? I've been talking. Holy shit, though. Oh, I'm. I'm. Man, I'm ready, but I'm not, and I, 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 I need it, and I die. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a default to greatsword again. I'm so ready.